All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Let us call Zachary Nay. Zachary Nay will not answer unless it ring three times. This is Islamic Trinity. Assalamu alaikum. I told you one million times, Christian Prince, don't call me. I'm sick of you. And I reported you to the FBI because you are doing sexual harassment. What sexual harassment, man? I'm just calling you to ask you a question. That's all. You are the, you are the only scholar who knows, man. Okay, but please, please don't call me after the middle of the night. So respect, please. What is the question? <clears throat> Uh, 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 brother, uh, uh, the Prophet in the Hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, it says that the Prophet continued for such and a such and a such and a such and a such period, imagining that he had sexual intercourse with his wives, but in fact he did not. What happened, brother? Okay. First of all, I ain't telling you. I ain't telling you to tell me you did not imagine yourself one day having sex with a woman. Be honest with me, Christian Prince. Have you ever imagined yourself having sexual intercourse with men? Um, see? He, see, here we go. See? Mm, mm, so you, you, you don't want to say, right? Okay. Mm. So this is very normal. It's very normal. The prophet, he is imagining himself having sex with his wives. So what's the problem? Uh, uh, but this is not what it says here. It says he imagined himself having sexual intercourse, but in fact he did not, which means he think that he did. He is not just imagining for a, <clears throat> you know, he he think for real that he did it. Yes, this is true. And this is very, very simple to explain. If you eat too much garlic, that will happen to you. If you eat too much zucchini, that will happen to you. Uh, but the Prophet, he forbid Muslims from eating garlic, as you know, because garlic is the enemy of Allah. This is true. And the Prophet don't eat garlic. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it might be there is other reason. Uh, my, my brother, is it, it doesn't say in the hadith that he was infected by magic? Uh, it does say that in the hadith? Uh, yes, it says that he was under the effect of a magic and two angels, they came to him and they tried to find out what the problem. Okay, obviously the prophet was under the influence of a black magic. What's the problem? Uh, but isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he says, that you shaitan have no influence over my uh, you have no authority over my good ones only over the bad ones so how shaitan was able to put black magic on muhammad okay this is a very simple to explain at the end of the day the prophet is a human uh, I, I'm, I'm really surprised that you said that because you you guys you worship him i thought he is not a human no absolutely we uh, we you know uh, for, okay i know you will tell me that allah he pray for but two and this is true. Allah pray for, but he don't pray to. But he pray to the Prophet. I say he pray for the Prophet, but he don't pray to the Prophet. So no, we don't worship him. Saw me, okay? Saw me. Silence me, huh? Christian Prince, silence me. Saw me. Uh, Zach and Nag, I don't know what to say. Actually, this is really too much. This is really powerful. You, you, you got, you, you, you hit the nerve here. I mean, uh, Allah, he pray for, not to. So um, obviously, it's true. I mean, that's that's. That's that, that's that's like a jewelries. I mean, uh, I want to say thank you really for this answer, and uh, this is amazing beyond imagination, my friend. Uh, and uh, may Elijah, which means God is with us, uh, bless you, brother. <laughs> I agree with you. I'm a doctor, and there is nobody like me. And I affect thee, and I know it. What is the question, uh, uh, brother? Uh, uh, the hadith says that the messenger of Allah said, "The man water is thick and white." And the women water is thin and yellow and which one of them comes first the child will resemble the parent explain to us as you know i'm a doctor and i graduated from bangladesh and you know that the grading in the bangladesh is a very high degree and i speak arabic and i speak english by you uh, uh, you speak Arabic. Uh, take the Arabic off. I speak English better than you. Forget about Arabic. Ah, okay. When the Prophet he said that whoever comes first, it means whoever comes first at home, not about organism. Uh, what? An example. Me and my wife, we are working together. If they arrive home first, the baby will resemble her. If I arrive first, the baby will resemble her. 
what, what are you talking about? This is about orgasm. Don't lie. It said whoever come first. Whoever come first. But there is talking about the water of the man is white and thick. So he's talking about orgasm. Let me explain to you. We are Muslim. Before we arrive home, we put white water in front of us. Uh, before you go home, you put white water and it is thick. Yes. Uh, what is that water? It's a sperm. It's what? Sperm. So you put water, which is a sperm, before you enter the house. Where the sperm is coming from? I can tell you. Because this is something that have to do with ritual. Uh, this is a ritual? Absolutely. And it says there that the women, she have water which is white and yellow. What is that? Actually, this is about my wife. She always piss around. She do what? She piss around. She, she, she piss around? Absolutely. Uh, uh, Dr. Zakir Naik, I am really astonished with your interpretation. I never heard this before. Absolutely, because simply I told you, I am graduated from the highest degree in Bangladesh. And even Omran Khan, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, he always asked me to fix his teeth. Uh, fix his what? His teeth. Uh, I thought you are not a dentist. It doesn't matter in Islam. All of it is the same. Okay, Dr. Zakir Naik, I'm really happy to hear your interpretation. Thank you very much. Before you go, if you call me one more time, I will report you for sexual harassment. But why you are saying sexual harassment? Because all what you told me about sex, you're trying to make me horny. Uh, okay, you get a point here. All right, take care. Brother, we have a question about medicine. It's very serious. Because we are Muslim and we are very merciful, I'm going to take and help you. What is the problem? Uh, brother, it says in the hadith that the Prophet was the most weak person in sexuality. And he invoked Allah and he sent a dish of shish kebab with Jibreel. And after he ate it, he got the power of 40 men. Does that make sense to you? My friend, absolutely this is the make sense. It makes sex not sense. As you see, the hadith is speaking, not speaking about making sense. It's speaking about a miracle. The Prophet, he invoked Allah and Allah, he went to his kitchen and he made a spittle food for the Prophet. It was, at that case, spittle tasty kebab. Okay, so shish kebab. So if I eat shish kebab today, I will get the power of 40 men. Absolutely false. Because the shish kebab have to be made by Allah and delivered by Jibreel to be sure it is genuine. Okay, so... If you breathe, deliver it, it's a genuine. If somebody else, like the pizza guy, something is false, absolutely true. So we have to be sure that it's made by Allah and it's said a thicker, it's, the thicker is said halal. I mean, I'm really convinced. Dr. Zak and Naik. Uh, 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 Doctor, why the prophet, after he ate it, he got the power of 40? What not? Why not 41? You are very stupid. And I tell you all what you are very stupid. You did not see in the old story, it said Alibaba and the 40 thief. Yes. Okay. Always there is a reason. They are 40 in all the stories. Because this is the perfect number. So the Prophet, he got the power of 40 men because he got the power of the 40 thieves, which was with Alibaba. Oh. Uh, so the Prophet, he got the power of the 40 thieves. Absolutely. Because they are thieves, it's very well known that thieves are have a very special hygiene quality on sex. Boom, boom. And because of that, the Prophet, he got the power of 40 thieves who used to work with Alibaba. Okay. Well, I, I never thought about this before. Absolutely must be true. I told you, I invite you right now to convert to Islam and to say tahada. Uh, brother, can I invoke Allah and ask him to do something? Because I have the same problem as the Prophet he do. Absolutely, you are a liar. And I know that you don't suffer from that problem. How you know? It's something private, sexuality. How you know I don't suffer from this problem? I can tell you from your voice. You are a liar and go call me again. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Dr. Zakir Naik. It is me exactly the one you are talking to. And I'm very busy. Uh. <laughs>
don't you see why I'm talking to Dr. Zaken Nayak? Show respect, man. I mean, for the sake of Zaken Nayak. Uh, Brother Zaken Nayak, uh, uh, how you explain to me that your prophet, he said that the women, and you are a doctor, especially you are a doctor, how you explain to me that he said that the women, if she have a yellow thing in her vagina, that what will make the baby resemble the parent or her. And you as a doctor, I think this is perfect for you to answer. First of all, I understand you, and I know your tricks. Your name is the Christian friends. You send your faith, and you send your voice. And you think I'm not going to know you. As for the moment, the real Hitta told me that it is your Christian friends. Can you deny that? Uh, no, I'm Christian friends. You are right. I told you. I know you. Secondly, when the prophet, he said that it is the yellow in the vagina, that is something because the book is written in yellow paper. It's not because the word there is yellow. Uh, what? The book, the book, it's a very old book. It's a yellow, yellow pages. So because the book is yellow, the pointer and the one who is printing it, they thought it is yellow. It doesn't say yellow. Uh -huh. So the prophet there, he did not say the word yellow? Absolutely. Is that because the papers are yellow? So it appears as if it is yellow. So what is the color? In fact, there is no color. This is not true. The prophet was saying that the water of the man is thick and the glue of the women is thin. The glue? There's a glue there? Absolutely. As an example, there's a glue, it's very famous, it's called the crazy glue. And you can buy it from anywhere, even from Amazon that come. Crazy glue, take the name. And the crazy glue is taken from there. Crazy glue is taken from women vagina? Are you sure? Absolutely. Don't you see women, they drive men crazy and they glue them? How a woman she make you marry her? Because of the glue. And this is absolute, scientifically correct. And this is how we can prove that Allah is all merciful and women are made by Allah and it's extremely, extremely true and this is scientific. Thank you, brother. And don't call me again. Thank you. Hey, brother, we are reading Ibn Kathir here and this is the Quran, chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. It says, women, she have a sperm coming from her ribs. What do you say? This is absolutely true. And Muslim women are different from other women. You cannot compare between our women because they are holy. And you women, they are not holy. And this is why our women, they have a perm coming from their ribs because they have holy, holy ribs. Uh, so you are saying because this is only for Muslim women? Absolutely. Uh, uh, why? Because our women, they are holy. Your women are holy? So are you saying the sperm location change depending on how holy you are? Absolutely, this is true. And I will prove it to you. As an example, when my father had been sick with my mother, my mother, she noticed that he have a liquid is coming from her ribs. My father, he thought this is the milk coming from her boobs. And later he discovered that this is not milk. It was a sperm. Uh, uh, but the prophet said it is yellow. Is it yellow or look like milk? This is depends what he eating. If he eat something yellowish, it's going to be yellow. If he eat ice cream, it's going to be white. But most likely the prophet is true. It is yellowish. Thank you for reminding me. I told you, I told you one at the time, don't call me. And right now, I'm very busy. Uh, brother, what are you doing? I'm having sex with a lot of vagina. Uh, they are low, long, long. Uh, brother, can you give us like just two times? I cannot, I cannot. I told you I'm busy. The Quran said we will be busy having sex with the vagina all, all of the other day. So please don't call me. I will send even my number because of you. Uh, Dr. Zakenek, please don't change your number. If you change your number, who's going to call you? I don't care. Just leave me alone. I'm busy right now. I am in heaven and you already doing hell. Go and do your Valentine's Day. You start reading my book. You open the first page. It says, Hummus, Hummus, Hummus. Falafel. Falafel, Falafel, Hummus. Then you call me and say, Christian Prince, in the first page it says, Hummus, Hummus, Falafel, Hummus. What does that mean? I say to you, I am just a prophet. Allah knows best. I have no idea. Don't ask me. I don't know. My Adri. If we call Zakir Naik now and we ask him, what does that mean?
السلام عليكم I told you I told you one thousand time don't call me uh, 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 how you know it's me I know you I know you you are like a ghost you are following me wherever I go I go to the bathroom I hear your voice I go to the bedroom I hear your voice I open my refrigerator I see you uh, you are everywhere please leave me alone uh, just I have a question about the verse it says that only Allah knows what it means so what does that mean it's very simple Allah is full of mystery have you watched ever James Bond watch what James Bond uh, you mean James Bond exactly if you watch them Bond you don't know how they make the movie because simply there's a, some kind of a trick so Allah is very tricky and there is no way to understand Allah that's not because he is crazy but you will notice that most of people do they are genius they are called crazy as an example how many Muslims they call you crazy every day oh uh, like a hundred exactly why they are calling you crazy uh, because I say things they don't like exactly and this is exactly what you are doing with Allah he says things you don't understand and you call him crazy thank you very much and don't call me again and this is how Zakir Naik refuted me I'm afraid actually a lot of people right now they cannot hold themselves no more and they decide to join Islam immediately and take Shahada let us call Zakir Naik shall we I don't know I should call him using the cell phone Wi-Fi or Geigo network hello uh, assalamu alaikum I told you I told you 1,000 times don't call me uh, but brother we have a very important question and we cannot find somebody can answer it except you you are the person of knowledge you are a walking talking library okay I you know what I'm going to forgive you only I will give you only this opportunity and you can ask me one question not two not three go ahead uh, what about the Prophet ordering to kill the lizard mr. lizard and he think he is the enemy of Allah why is that according to scientific discovery and you can watch discovery channel it said that can you call me later uh, why brother because I just saw a lizard in the wall of my house I'm going to kill it and I will call you back uh, 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 brother can you kill it later okay I will kill it later uh, what was the question uh, why the prophet he ordered to kill the lizard do you have an explanation absolutely the prophet he never speak from his own mind he always get guidance and inspiration from Allah so Allah he told him to kill the wizard uh, why why he want to kill the lizard first of all many of you are very naive and think that the lizard is a very very nice creature actually me myself when I was a kid I used to play with it but after I became educated I learned that it's extremely dangerous uh, but the lizards don't kill anyone just eat insect they never harm a human being I mean what what this lizard can do have you ever experienced a fire in your house uh, not really if you call the fire department they will find and they will tell you that 99 percent of fire happened around the world including volcano it happened because of leather because he is a small dragon a lizard is a small dragon absolutely if you open the mouth of the leather you can even light his cigarette from his mouth from the mouth of the lizard we can light up our cigarette i am telling you you are ignorant and this is why i don't like to talk to you this is the proven scientifically and it is absolutely true Okay, uh, Dr. Zach and Naik, uh, can you make a video of you showing us the lizard? He have a fire in his mouth, like, you know. I'm not going to make a video for a very simple reason. The Quran said in chapter 13, verse 13, that it doesn't matter what you do, they will not accept you unless you accept the religion. And because the Quran said so, I'm not going to try even to do that. 
okay, what, how we can prove now that the, the Mr. Lizard is a dragon? I did not say he's a dragon. And this is a lie. Nowhere the prophet, he said that this is a dragon. All what he said, it blew fire at prophet Abraham. And this is proven to be scientifically accurate. So the lizard, he blew fire at Abraham. I am telling you, if you go to Japan, there is a scientist, his name is Yama. I killed lizard Yama. It's very well known. And actually, he subjected his life to study lizard. That's why they call him, his last name is Lizard. You see, his name is Yama Lizard. I killed lizard Yama. Very well known. And he will tell you that the first dragon exit in this earth is not in the Lord of the Ring. It was in the Quran and it's mentioned in the Hadith. Okay, well, I look like I have to give up as long as this is science and we cannot say anything. So we have to accept that lizard <clears throat> is, a, is a dragon. Absolutely. And I warn you, if you ever, 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 if I ever find a lizard, come to my house, I will accuse you that you are behind him. Are you saying to me there is some lizard like Mossad agent or something? I did not say that. He might be a CIA agent. Or 007 agent, James Bond. Thank you very much. Don't call me again. If we call Zach and Nick now and we ask him, what do you think about this story, astonishing story about the monkey? What Zach and Nick will say? What do you think, Muslims? He cannot deny it. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Hmm? Hello? Assalamu alaikum, brother Zakanek. I told you, I told you one thousand times. Don't ever call me. Uh, just wait, we have a question about uh, Sahih Bukhari. I have no idea. Don't ask me. I am going to call the police for you. You are doing sexual harassment for me. You call me after the middle of the night and you ask me questions. I have no answer for them. And show me your face. Show me your face and tell me your name. Zakir Naik, um, my name is a Christian prince. And why my face is important? The question is the important. Okay, what is the question? Uh, in the Sahih al-Bukhari, it says that there is a, a female monkey. She committed adultery. And uh, the Muslim Abdul, he shared the monkeys, stoning the monkey. So are you saying that the monkeys are Muslims? According to the Quran, chapter 13, but that's the thing it said, that all animals are Muslim. And all of them, they praise Allah. And all of them, they have the book. So yes, the monkeys are Muslims. Uh, but brother, are you saying that pigs are Muslims too? Shut up. Shut up. Uh, brother, you are the one who said all animals are Muslims a second ago. So what, what, why you are you saying to me, shut up? I did not say pigs. I did not say pigs. I think pigs are infidels and they are not Muslims. So we can say all animals are Muslims except pigs. Absolutely. Uh, so what about rats? Uh, except rats too. Uh, what about cockroaches? Uh, except uh, cockroaches. Uh, what, uh, what about uh, uh, snakes? Uh, except the snake too. Uh, what about, uh, uh, I mean, look like we have a lot of exception. You are not counting. I told you, I told you, don't call me again. My name is Dakar Nayek. My name is not answering Nayek. Leave me alone. Somebody is saying to me, call Zakir Nayek, and I cannot resist the temptation of calling brother Zakir Nayek, for he is the person of knowledge. Assalamu alaikum. I told you, I told you one thousand times, don't call me. Uh, brother, I have a question for Christian Prince, leave me alone. I am sick of you. I told you one minute time, I am not the one to answer your question. First, your questions are very free, and they are very stupid, and I'm sick for you. And you are doing sexual harassment. You are calling me after the middle of the night. Uh, brother, but we have a question about a very serious topic. What is the question? It's about chemical weapon. Okay, I'm listening now. Sounds very interesting. 
Did the war between India and Pakistan break up? Uh, no, it's not about the war between India and Pakistan yet. I hope it's not going to happen soon. Uh, but it says that Shaitan, he fought when Muslims say the prayer of Allah. First of all, this is the proof to be true. And this is why if you go around the Kaaba, you smell so bad. Because Satan there, he is using his full energy to fight at the Khan. Because all the Muslims, we have like 5 million Muslims, they are saying Allah Akbar. And all the Satan there, they are trying to cover the thought of Satan, the thought of Allah, and they are saying, pff, 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 pff. so they, 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 thank you. Oh, so you are saying to me around the Kaaba, because too many people saying Allahu Akbar, there's too many shaitan, they are responding to them by farting. Absolutely. Uh, are you saying, brother, there is a war between you and the devil? You say Allah, they shoot back by farting? For the first time in your life, you say something smart. I am really impressed, and you are getting better. Absolutely, brother. When Satan, he hear the prayer of Allah, he start farting. And this is proof, if you go to NASA, you will see that even they found that when, 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 when Adam Strong, he went to the moon, he heard the word Allahu Akbar, and he even smelled, and he heard the Satan farting. Well, thank you, uh, Zakir Naik. I, I really appreciate your answer. And I by the way, I'm convinced that this God is a jiggy jiggy God. You know, you believe in him, you bend over five times a day, and then what you what you do? You go to heaven, you do jiggy jiggy. He bring you women, have no panties. Jiggy jiggy time. Jiggy jiggy heaven, jiggy jiggy time, jiggy jiggy open, jiggy jiggy off, jiggy jiggy on, jiggy jiggy take it, jiggy jiggy break it, jiggy jiggy bring it, jiggy jiggy stop, jiggy jiggy bottom, jiggy jiggy stand, jiggy jiggy go, jiggy jiggy. I mean, jiggy jiggy, this is a jiggy land. I mean, what you can say? I mean, this is amazing. We have a God, He promised a jiggy jiggy. Who can reject that? You call me in heaven, you say, hey, Christian Prince, why you are not opening your life stream, brother? I say, I'm doing jiggy jiggy, brother. Let me call Zach and Nayak and ask him if he like to go and do jiggy jiggy with us. I told you once at the time, don't call me. How, how you know it's me? I know you. I know you. Even my phone start doing jiggy jiggy when you call me. How, how, what do you mean the phone doing jiggy jiggy? I'm telling you the second you call me, my phone start doing jiggy jiggy. And I know exactly it's you. Brother, this is like a miracle. So your phone do jiggy jiggy just because I just called you? Absolutely. And I can prove it to you. How you can prove it to me? If you go to the Quran, chapter 2, but then chapter 10, it said that jiggy jiggy Christian Prince. Unbelievable. In the Quran, it says that about Jiggy Jiggy and about Christian Prince? Absolutely. And brother and sister, this guy, he will call you Jiggy Jiggy. And the Jiggy Jiggy of Allah is the best Jiggy. Don't sell it to him. Thank you very much. Don't call me again. Thank you. What the heck? Brother and sister, if you think there is a person, his name is Andan Armstrong, and he went to the moon. Before he go to the moon, they cut his belly and they took all the, the material from the belly and they what he's they are preparing him for a bigger mission he will go to the space muhammad now is getting ready to go to the space and you cannot go to the space with a normal stomach and they have to clean it out and there is some you know he cannot do that i mean this is very very well known as an example brother i will give an example some Christian, I think that was the Christian, his name is the Christian Prince. And he made the claim that while the Prophet, they cut his throat and they cut his belly. And I said, Christian Prince, I am sure you are hiding before the computer and that makes you have a big belly too. But the difference between the belly of the Prophet and the belly of Christian Prince is his youth. The Prophet have a beautiful belly. And he have a belly bomb. Which is so sexy and sexy and I know it. And the angel, they came and they cut his belly because they need to prepare him to go to the space. And it discovered by a scientist from the pan, his name, Yama Aydula Yama. It's very well known. Uh, what?
Yeah, if we if we ask Zach and Nick, uh, what about this verse? What Zach and Nick will say? A brother and sister, they had a person named the Christian Prince. And Christian Prince, he tried to make fun of the Quran. And absolutely, we can get him busted. He go to Quran, chapter 21, verse number 13. And he said, that Allah, if he intended to take a woman for sex or a son, he will take it from ourself. And he said, what ourself? I will explain to you. Have you ever had a mirror in your house? Have what? A mirror, mirror. Uh, yeah, I have a mirror. When you see yourself in the mirror, what do you say? You say this is our self. And this is exactly what Allah said. So Allah would have sex with the mirror? Exactly. But because you are slow, we have to explain it to you. Thank you very much. Because, I, because, because I'm, I'm slow? This is the mirror. Allah, he says, I see, speaking to the mirror. Okay, so his son will be a mirror. His wife will be a mirror. Zach and Eric, are you there? Did, did you hang up on us? I told you don't call me. First of all, I am busy looking at myself in the mirror. First of all, you need to know I'm very handsome. And this is why I saw myself in the camera and you don't saw yourself in the camera. Can you explain to us why you don't saw yourself in the camera? Because I'm not good looking, as you said. Exactly. And this is the example, and this is the clear proof that Allah is a true God because He made you ugly. Otherwise, Allah will make you handsome, like me. Don't ever call me again. Okay. Now I feel like I'm humiliated today. And Allah made Zach and Naik look good, make me look ugly. And that's why He go on camera. I don't go on camera. I mean, obviously.